Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam, for those who don't know me. Today we are doing another DIY, um, but a little bit different. We're gonna use some things that uh, are commonly used for baking, but they're no longer gonna be used for baking anymore. Uh, basically we are taking, we're taking some cooking trays and we're going to paint them and add some cork to them. To this will give us a different, uh, basically, purpose to use them. And it'll be an easy, uh, fun, quick little thing to do if you're just looking for uh, a new way to give uh, life to your cooking trays if they're no longer in good condition or um, if they're just, you're thinking about throwing them out and, uh, feel bad <laughs> for throwing them out. Yeah, so you can give them a new, a new look, a new appeal. But, as well, it is affordable and, uh, fun to do in times like these. So, if this gives you, uh, inspiration to do it yourself or, uh, if you've done something like this, before, let me know in the comments and uh, without further ado, let's get into it. What you need. Cooking trays. Your paintbrush or roller or both. Paint and a cork board. And glue gun. Now, the first thing that you want to do is measure uh, the desired uh, size of the cork board that you would want to put on each tray. So for what I did, I filled the smallest pan as much as possible with the cork board. Uh, it was also going in a different location than the two that are going to be hung uh, together, which is like the larger and medium sized pan. So the medium sized pan, I actually think I'm going to just use a portion of whatever's left over. And on the larger one, I'm going to just trim off like two inches uh, just to kind of fit it nicely in the center of it. Uh, so now I'm just taking off the papers that were giving the prices on them because I did buy these from Value Village. I didn't use a, a set that I already had because the ones that I did have, they were fairly new. So just wanted to repurpose ones that were already, uh, already in the world. <laughs> now we're painting uh, the back of the trays because where the cork actually doesn't fit side to side uh, it'll actually show the back of it so I just wanted to paint it back black I wanted to paint it black uh, just so that it kind of gives it more of a, a chalkboard appeal now you're gonna coat this as best as you can the first time. Um, that's why I also got the, the roller because it, it does a great second coat. The paintbrush is just so much faster, I find, when you're trying to work in a small area. So I just use the paintbrush first to give that first coat and then I use the roller to add the second coat. Now I'll also mention that using the roller actually gave such a really nice texture compared to the strokes. Next thing you want to do uh, while your uh, pans are drying is Cut the desired uh, sizes of your cork board. So what I use to cut 
the board is um, cutting mat to protect the surface that's underneath uh, what you're cutting. Exacto knife. A metal ruler or a ruler that if you cut it with the exacto knife that it won't uh, penetrate it because you want that hard surface to cut um, just your cork board and not anything else really so I'm just trimming um, the piece that I want to put in the middle a uh, medium tray and then this is for that uh, larger tray so I'm just trimming off um, a little bit so that it can fit perfectly in the center Now, the next thing you want to do is glue gun the cork board to your trays. So as you see here, I'm going to glue the cork board to the actual uh, pan. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you liked it, don't forget to give that big thumbs up button a press. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do that and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos that come out every Tuesday. Let me know in the comments what you thought and guys have a terrific Tuesday and I'll see you next week. Bye guys! Just wanted to add a note that if uh, you do get paint along the sides of the tray and you don't um, you don't want that there or you don't uh, seek for that um, I just used a sponge on the scruff side to scruff it off gently okay thanks guys